whenever you're ready, Coach. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'd like to start out by saying or congratulating Tennessee on a well-fought victory tonight. Um, a lot of respect for Coach Barnes, family to me. Um, happy for him uh, and his team. But I'm, I'm really proud of my team and my guys. I love these guys. These guys had a heck of a year. Um, we got better and better as the season went along. Uh, they really persevered. There's some adversity at times, and they just stayed the course. And I'm uh, just so proud of how they carried themselves all season long, on the court, off the court. And, uh, you know, I can't be prouder of a, of a group uh, that I've had a chance to be a part of and work with every single day and coach. So I love my guys, and I love their effort tonight. We came up a little short, but uh, these guys are winners, and they're going to be winners for the rest of their lives. Okay, questions for Max and Dylan. West Rucker, 24 Sports. For, for Max, I know that the numbers on paper for Tennessee's defense are what they are. In terms of getting you know, looks, was it how much more difficult was it for you tonight than it maybe normally is? Uh, I thought they were uh, they're a good def defensive team. Um, you know, sat kind of we're in the gaps a little bit, um, trying to prevent driving lanes. Um, so just I mean, just sticking with it. Um, you know, when I got open, loved just shooting it. Um, but, but yeah, good de good defensive team for sure. Other questions for the student athletes? Apparently, uh, Dylan. I guess the the way that y'all fought back there. I mean, it's one of those games where nothing's really easy for, for either team. And anytime you get du down double digits in that situation, it can be tough. But y'all fought back. What was the belief in that in your team there? Yeah, I mean, um, we felt like we were playing solid defense. We gave up um, a couple offensive rebounds, too many offensive rebounds in the first half. Um, so we wanted to kind of um, buckle down on that. Um, but we felt like we were getting good looks and we were playing good defense and getting stops. And as long as we continue to get stops, eventually we'd make enough shots to get back in the game. And um, that's what we did. And unfortunately, they just didn't fall for us down the stretch to, to finish it. We also have members of the media on Zoom. We'll take a question from Zoom now. Dan Tora. Dan, go ahead. Dan Tortora, wake up call, DT.com. For the student athletes as well as for coach, just what the run this season has been for you, what this team has meant to you specifically this year. I know this is a tough moment, but coach, you talk a lot about faith. So just what it means to you to have these guys and guys, what it means to make the run that you made. We're going to yeah. stay with the student athletes right so, now. Okay. We'll get to coach in a second. Dylan? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot to us. Um, uh, us too. I mean, I wasn't even originally recruited by Texas uh, coming out of high school. Um, and Max was a very under-recruited player, went to say, Oral Roberts, so I'm sure it means a lot to him as well to be um, kind of an underdog. Um, and then throughout the season, just the way the media talked about us and, and their disbelief in us and the fact that they didn't even think that we would actually get to the tournament um, when we had a, a rough one and three start to the conference slate. Um, so to be able to, to, to push through as a team, come together, and be as connected as we were down the stretch um, and get to this point. Yeah, I mean, it means, it means the world to all of us. And I'm so happy that I, I was able to, to come, come to this tournament one more time with my teammates uh, for this university, for the state. Max? I mean, yeah, I'm mean, super grateful for the opportunity uh, to compete at Texas. Um, you know, never in high school would I have guessed that I would be at Texas, you know, in college. Um, so super grateful for RT and the whole coaching staff. Um, you know, for believing me, me, believing in me, and wanting me to come in, and um, I mean the team itself, um, just fighting through a lot of adversity through the season. I mean, we start the season with our two big men injured, um, get them back, and you know, find a way to continue to prove people wrong. Um, they continue to count us out, uh, but we never paid attention to that, and um, really just focus on us. So just really proud of the way the guys um, competed all season, um, and you know, to get to the tournament again um, and win the game. I mean, it's you know. It's a great feeling. OK, well, we're, um, we'll let you guys head back to the locker room. Thanks. Congratulations on a great year and great job up here. OK, Coach, maybe you can continue to answer that question. Uh, sure, no, <clears throat> no problem. You know, I, um, I give God 
uh, glory every single day for every every opportunity that we have, every single day that we have. And uh, we don't take any day for granted. And I always express that to our guys, how, how uh, it's a great day to be alive every single day. You know, we're not promised tomorrow. And uh, I, I said to our guys just in the meeting this morning, it's bigger than basketball. You know, the three people you don't ever want to disappoint in life. You don't ever want to disappoint God. You don't ever want to disappoint your family. You don't ever want to disappoint your friends. And uh, uh, I live by that every day. I also gave them a, a 999 rule. You're always going to have nine people like you, nine people dislike you, and nine people on the fence. So more of the story is you're not going to please everybody. You know, but the most important person you need to please is yourself. Love yourself, and uh, you'll have a great life. Coach T. Rude from the Associated Press, congratulations on your season. Um, I just wonder if I could ask you about uh, uh, Tennessee. H having Dalton there, is that the type of guy that maybe they need to, to, to break out of that Sweet 16 in advance? I mean, he's he the type of guy that can get them deeper in the tournament. Well, I think anytime you have a you have a guy that can carry a team there. I mean, tonight, you know, he, he had 18 points and he had to take 18 shots to get those 18 points. But he's a terrific player. And anytime you have star power with a guy that that is a really hard one on one uh, matchup, you know, that could take over a game, you know, that uh, that that gives you an opportunity to, to be elite. And uh, they they have that. They have a guy that on any given night he could go for 30 in a game and. And uh, he could change the uh, change the outcome of a game. So, um, yes, you ride your guys this time of year. You know, just like you know, we're gonna ride our guys. Max Aismith's been in it. He's been at this stage on at this level. The has been at this level on, on this stage. We're gonna ride our main guys down the stretch. And those guys had terrific years for us. Um, and, and they're guys that can carry you uh, into the next weekend. So, uh, for sure, they've got a they've got a bona fide star in, in Dalton and. And he could definitely carry those guys away down the stretch. Middle of the room. Yeah. Yeah. Rodney, what is it about Rick's defenses that are so consistently successful year after year? And do you feel like that was a difference in a game where you guys were able to hold them to, I think, 33% shooting? Well, I think, again, both of us, I think, really, you know, have a staple point of trying to have a really good defensive team. You try to play physical. Coach plays extremely physical. Teams have always been physical. Uh, on the glass, trying to keep you out of the paint, force you into tough twos, tough threes, uh, and then try to limit your uh, your second chance opportunities. Uh, it's always been great. Coach has always taught a, taught a, a great help side defense, gap defense, where it's really hard to get into the, the teeth of the defense without guys making competitive plays. Um, we try to do the same thing ourselves. and. Thought that uh, um, you know in the first half they they did a really excellent job of that in the first half and we had some unforced turnovers that kind of kind of put us behind the behind the eight ball at the half a little bit and everything but give them credit they sped us up a little bit they they played really hard and really tough and coach gets guys to play really hard and really tough and, and that's a talent and and that's coaching if you can get your guys to buy into playing really hard defense rebounding being physical that's coaching. You know, and Coach has done it for a long time at a very high level. West Rocker, 24-7 Sports. Rodney, in a game like this with, with the familiarity there and it's this point in the season, y'all play three times in three years, how difficult would it be for either one of these coaching staffs to sort of throw a wrinkle that the other one just would be sort of shocked by? Yeah, I think, you know, playing every year and, and uh, you know, the last couple of years, well, obviously we know we're very familiar with one another in terms of the way we play and what we try to get done from an offensive standpoint. I think the one thing I thought we did pretty good tonight that maybe they weren't prepared for was we threw zone out there and we had to because they were they were doing such an excellent job with their offense versus our man. We needed to change the game up and change their rhythm a little bit in, in terms of their pick and roll. And, you know, they were really attacking us in the teeth of our defense. So we needed to try to protect elbows and blocks and try to change the game. and and limit their second chance opportunities. And I thought that that change really gave us a chance down the stretch uh, to, to win the ball game. Last question. Ryan Silvio, Rivals.com. Just from your perspective, how much of a hand does Zakai Ziegler have and what Tennessee does on the defensive end? You know, Dalton's a, you know, he's a, he's a big time player. 
head of the snake is the little dude. The little guy makes a lot, causes a lot of problems out there. You know, he's he's all over the place defensively. He's a de defensive player of the year in the SEC. Uh, he's causing all kind of havoc on that end of the floor. And then and then you throw in that he can get into the teeth of the defense and get something for himself or create for a teammate. You know, Dalton's had a special year, uh, but he probably didn't have that special year if he didn't have that little guy that can get into the teeth of the defense and create scoring opportunities for him. So he's, he's the head of the snake. He's a, he's a really terrific player and uh, one that we had a lot of respect for. Coach, thank you. Thank Congratulations you. on a great year. Thank you. It's a pleasure working with you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much.